how to install Facebook pixels on Shopify and track conversions. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can install Facebook pixels on your Shopify store to track conversions. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, I just want to say that before we begin, there are a couple of things that you're going to need. First and foremost, what you're going to need to are some basic things such as Facebook Business Manager, Facebook Ad Manager, and then we're going to go ahead and install the pixels. But if you create an account on Facebook Business Suite, you will automatically create an account on your Facebook Business Ad Manager, on the Event Manager, and all of the rest of the stuff. Because Facebook Business Suite is basically like the home for everything. So you don't have to worry about that. So having said that, let's just jump into the video now. So I'm already over here on my Facebook Meta Suite, right? So the business suite and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump into the ad manager over here. So for that, just scroll down and click on all tools and you will see all of the tools that Facebook has. So ad manager, business manager, you know, they're all going to be over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up ad manager in another tab. And we're also going to open up the event manager in another tab as well. So this is the ad manager right here. So as you can see, this is how it looks like. There is nothing over here. We have literally nothing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install and create an ad, right? And once we come over here, but before we create an ad, we need to go over here onto all tools and we need to go over to the event manager. So simply come over here on all tools and click on event manager. And this will open up the event manager over here so as you can see we have no pixels as of yet over here you're basically going to be able to create pixels so as you can see i have nothing as of yet so what i'll do is i'll just simply click on connect data and we have a bunch of different options now since we are going to be connecting our shopify store so we're going to choose web action over here and then click on connect and then we have to enter in the name of our pixel so i'll just say test pixels and then we'll just simply click on create pixel so now what we'll do is we'll add a URL of our website. So for that, we'll go back over here onto Shopify, log in, and once you've logged in, just simply copy the URL over here. Simply copy the URL, and then come back over here onto the event manager and paste it over here. And once that's done, just simply click on tick, and there you go. It's done, and then just simply click on next. And then we have to choose how we want to connect to the website. So conversions API and metapixels or metapixels only. So this one is, you know, recommended because since we want to track conversions as well, so we're going to want conversion API and metapixels. So we're going to choose that. And then we'll just simply click on next. And then we are good to go. All right. So as you can see, we it's still creating we this is the test pixel right over here and it's waiting for activity so we have to come back a little bit later to check for it so but as that happens what we'll do next is we'll go back over here onto our shopify account and what we want to do is come over here onto online stores or click on sales channels but uh we don't want to add another sales channel we'll click on online stores and at the bottom we want to click on preference so we'll click on preferences over here and then it's going to open up the preferences. And then what we want to do is we want to go back over here at the bottom. We will see Facebook pixels, right? What we'll do is we'll just simply click on set up Facebook. And then over here, we'll just simply click on add sales channel. And just like that, it's going to be added into our account over here. As you can see, Facebook is added. Now what we want to do is we want to connect to our Facebook account. We simply click on connect and we choose enter in the password of our Facebook account. Next, as you can see over here, we just simply click on continue with the name of our account and then we click on continue. And as you can see, our Facebook business manager is now connected. All right, so this is our marketplace. We already had an account. So what we'll do is we'll just simply click on connect to this uh, marketplace. We could have created another manager, but for now, we're good to go. Then we want to confirm our domain. We'll just simply click on confirm, even though it's unverified. So let me just go ahead and verify it. Over here, this is my account. So let me just confirm the email to verify it. There we go. Your email has been verified. All right. Then we want to click our and connect our ad account. So as you can see over here, we just simply click on connect all right you just view and accept their terms and conditions both of them and once that's done i hope this is their 
terms and condition we just simply click on accept over here there you go it is now accepted all right so i think because i verified my account it got logged out but now i'm logging in again so we should be good to go all right so now i'm logged in so let me just connect my ad account again there we go one is done let's go ahead and view and accept another one and now we just simply accept the terms and conditions and over here here we go it's now done we just simply click on done and now all right uh add the account and then we add the account as well because it wasn't added before and now this personal okay so i need to add and run an ad account so let me just do that actually i'll catch you guys in a second okay so i couldn't actually you know um do this i couldn't actually create an account i don't know why but uh something went wrong and i couldn't actually create my ad account but i mean you're pretty much set to go right like you understand what you need to do like you just have to click on the connect button over here and then in facebook page you just simply have to connect the facebook page and in data sharing you will already once you have created the pixel once it's activated then you just simply have to choose that pixel and click on connect and same with the facebook target country simply choose a target and then finish the setup and you'll be good to go so pretty much that's it now i'm sorry i couldn't show you what moves on because now i have this technical difficulty and if i try to create another account in that i would have to create and run another ad and then which i would have to run for at least 24 hours then it'll work but i don't know then it would take probably quite a long time so pretty much just simply connect to the settings that you have chosen connect to the page connect to the pixel of your choosing and your country and you should be good to go so pretty much that's it that's how you use it that's how you connect your pixels to shopify and track your conversion so so having said that that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or come across any problem whatsoever then let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to help you out in any way i can as soon as possible and also be sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and also turn on the bell notification as you'll get notifications every time we post a new video. Your support to the channel means a lot and also share this video with your friends and family members if they enjoy this type of content and would like to know how to make money online or just simply want to know how a particular software or website works. We post these types of videos daily so you don't have to worry about running out of content. You will get new content every single day, so don't worry about it. So having said that, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video and until next time, take care and goodbye.